Hey guys, it's Alina here, and today I have another first impressions video for you. Today's video is on the limited edition Urban Decay Alice Through the Looking Glass palette. So before we get started, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you love first impressions videos and you want me to do more of them, because I'd be happy to do that. And let's just go ahead and get started. So the Urban Decay Alice Through the Looking Glass palette is a sequel to Urban Decay's Book of Shadows palette, which was very popular. This palette consists of 20 all-new eyeshadow shades which is amazing. And this palette was also released with lipsticks. I did get my hands on the lipsticks, but I'm not gonna do a first impressions on them because they have disappeared off of the Ulta site. So I didn't wanna do a first impressions and tease you guys with the lipsticks when you can't go out and buy them. I think that that's a little mean. But the palette is still available on Ulta, Urban Decay, and I think Sephora, and it's $60. So all 20 shades in this palette were inspired by the colors and the feel of the movie that's coming out with the same name. There is a mix of mattes, shimmers, brights, dull colors, nudes, all kinds of stuff. So the box looks like this, super pretty and bright with kind of a kaleidoscope feel. And then the palette looks like this. So when you open the top of the palette, you've got a little mirror here, and then you open these two little doors, which release this like butterfly looking thing. I'm not sure. I guess that's just decorative. So then the actual eyeshadows are on in this little drawer thing. So these are all the eyeshadow shades. And as with most Urban Decay eyeshadow palettes, it does come with a double-ended brush. Very similar to the Vice palettes where it's got the fluffy shadow brush on one side and a thinner blending brush on the other side. So I know you guys are just dying to see the colors, so let's get to swatching. All right, so I am all swatched up, so let me get closer and show you all these colors. So these are all the colors together. They were all swatched with one swipe of color and there's no primer on my arm. Normally I do the color swatches in rows. This time I have more sense to do it in columns because the colors are arranged in different characters that the colors inspired. So they're in five columns of four. So here we have the first column. This is the Alice shades. This first color here is called Looking Glass. It's a pale pink demi matte. The second color is called Reflection. It's a soft peach matte. The third color is called Dormoz, a warm brown matte with floating gold micro sparkle. And the fourth color is Metamorphosis, a vibrant periwinkle blue with micro sparkle. So once again, this is the first column, the Alice column. Here is a second column. This is the Mad Hatter shades. The first color is Hatter. It's a vibrant green with tonal micro sparkle. The second color is Gone Mad. It's an aubergine with pink iridescent pearl. The third color is called Paradox. It's a vibrant orange with gold pearl. And the fourth color is called Cake. It's a saturated blue pink with silver micro shimmer. Once again, this is the second column, the Mad Hatter shades. Here we have the third column. These are the Marana shades. The first color here is called Lily. It's an opal pink pearl. The second color is called Duchess. It's a peach with pink shift and micro sparkle. The third color is called Kingdom. It's a copper bronze pearl. And the fourth color is called Chessboard. It's a medium brown matte. Once again, this is the third column, the Marana shades. Here we have the fourth column. This is the Ira Sabeth shades. The first color is Heads Will Roll. It's a vibrant turquoise with gold micro sparkle. The second color is called Bandersnatch. It's a deep teal matte. The third color is called Salazan Grum, a metallic crimson. And the fourth color is called Royal Flush, a pale beige shimmer. Once again, this is the fourth column, the Erisabeth shades. So here's the last column, it's the Time shades. The first color is called Time, it's a black navy satin with soft iridescent micro sparkle. The second color is called Dream On, it's a metallic pearl silver. The third color is called Chronosphere, it's a metallic deep bronze. And the fourth color is called Mirror. It's a gray taupe satin. Once again, this is the last column. So here we have all the colors again together. Some of these colors are absolutely amazing. Like Hatter, that vibrant green. I have never seen anything so vibrant like that. It's amazing. Also, Paradox is another amazing color. Salazan Grum, also really, really beautiful. 
this shade Time, like super pigmented, absolutely amazing. I would say the biggest disappointment for me is probably Dream On, just because it looks like a super dark gray in the palette, but it barely shows up on the skin. But overall, a really nice range of color, pretty interesting shades. All right, so my final thoughts on this palette is I think it's pretty amazing. I think the whole Alice in Wonderland kind of tie-in thing is just a bunch of nostalgia, and that's why people tend to gravitate towards these limited edition palettes. It is pricey, it's $60, but it is 20 eyeshadows, so it's very in line with their Vice palettes. I've seen a lot of complaints on this palette that the colors were not very pigmented, but like you saw, I mean, I thought they were very true to the color in the palette. There were only a few shades that didn't show up, but that's kind of the same with any palette. I feel like there's always a couple disappointments in certain palettes, but you are getting 20 shades that are brand new for $60. So three bucks a shade, that's pretty good. That's less than drugstore. If you're into makeup because it's a collector thing, then of course you have to get this palette. It's absolutely stunning. Would look great on any shelf. If you are not into like crazier colors or experimenting, then this palette is probably not for you. But I thought the color selection was pretty interesting. It seems a little haphazard, but when you swatch them in the columns, it actually looked like it made sense. But we'll see when we start to play around with it. Like I said, this palette is limited edition, and it's available on the Urban Decay website, the Ulta website, and I think the Sephora website. I'll leave links down below to where you can purchase it. So I want to know your thoughts on this palette. Did you love it? Did you get it? Is it on your wish list? Please leave me a comment below because I would love to know. And if you didn't pick it up, or maybe it's not available in your country, I am going to be doing a giveaway for one of these palettes. I will leave all the rules in the description box to the giveaway. Please read them. I'm going to have to get more strict with these giveaways because nobody's reading the rules and like, ugh, it's making me crazy. So please read all the rules. If it says you can't do multiple entries, then don't do multiple entries. It's going to get you disqualified because all it means is that I have to do more work on my end to sift through the people that are not following the rules. So from now on, if you don't follow the rules, any of the rules, you will be disqualified. Just read the rules. It's very simple. All you have to do is follow the rules and you get entered to win, which I think is a pretty good deal. So I will be giving away one palette and the rules will be in the description box. So I hope you guys enjoyed this first impressions. Be sure to give it a big thumbs up if you did. And don't forget to subscribe and check out all my other videos. Hope you guys have a good one. See ya.